Here we go. Y'all ready? Let's roll. Let's, let's roll. When you are a slave, the slave is out of balance. You are under the control of somebody else. And when you are a slave, they work you up, they work you from sun up to sun down. The human being, you are a day creature. You are a daylight person. Your life is revolved around the sun. Thus, in ancient times, we had sun worshippers because they saw the connection between their lives and the sun. You are of the sun. You are of the light. But when you are a slave, you cannot practice normal behaviors of the light. So when the slave owner or the conqueror or your boss, whatever job that you work at, because a job just shows that you are a slave because you can't have sex on the job, can you? You can't do what you want to on the job. It's a form of slavery. It binds you up. So you can only practice sex, your sexual behaviors after you get off from work. So you call your wife who got to work a job too or your boyfriend or whatever and you call them and you talk about the good time we're going to have in bed after y'all get off from work. You know why? Because both of you are slaves. And so you go in the dark. Most times that's where that's what you see on TV. You most times you see the sexual act. It happens in the dark at nighttime when y'all off from work. When the slave master gets you out of the field and you can go back to your log cabin. Now you can you can have sex or do whatever you want to do in the dark at night. Out of balance. So a child. That should be conceived during the daytime because the daytime, the light, that is what the child is. The baby is a child of the light, not of the night. So you lay down in darkness in a scene where you cannot see. Where all types of creepy things hang out. In the dark, darkness where the creepy things emerge. Where in the dark where folks hide secrets. Darkness in our culture is related to secrets and wicked things. But it is basically simply it is unnatural. So you have children that don't know nothing about the light. So you wonder why you're dealing with humanity. All over this earth, who are who conceive babies out of sexual timing, they act dark. The mentality is dark. They always talk good. They always talk of peace. But you see, with their hands, their mind, they have a wicked type nature. They are not good. They are of the night. So slaves have to act in accord to their work schedules. Whenever your massa, wherever you work on your job, you are a slave. Or if a, or if you are an actual slave on the plantation, you must do your thing after work. A job equals slavery. Living on a plantation and somebody forced their name on you, that's slavery. Wild animals breed in time. There's a breeding process. And animals who are free, who are wild, are not obsessed with the breeding process. They mate, they have their babies, and go on about their business. They don't become porn fiends. Why are domesticated animals, why are, why are people obsessed with sexual practice? Because there is nothing else in your life. 
you are a slave to somebody else. And that whoever control you only want to use you as labor or use you as food. Ah. I'm going to say that again. Whoever is your slave master only wants you for labor or they want you for food. That's all they want from you. So you breed. So you see chickens, they just breed, breed, breed. You see dogs and cats, they just breed, breed, breed. You see y'all as people, you just breed, breed, breed. There's nothing else, if nothing else in your life. You become an unnatural creature because a slave owner only wants you to breed. There is no other purpose for you. But see, there are too many dogs and cats. There's too many of this and that. There are too many people on the earth and you are worthless. They don't, they have enough people to do their labor. They have enough to do their food. So when there's too much of a slave creature, they euthanize you. They put you to death. And whether you know it or not, there are plans by the leaders of this world to put a certain population of, of us to death. World War Three could be the perfect excuse to kill billions of y'all. Euthanize. There's too many slaves on the planet. When you are a free person, if you study the free animal in the wild, wild and free, they base their reproduction on the food supply and the resources that determines the amount of babies that they produce. But when you are a slave, the slave masters just want you to breed, breed, because they take care of you. You, you don't have to worry about your food supply or your resources. Your master gives that to you. Some of y'all work for that. You think you're doing getting it yourself. You're nothing but a Highly, how can I say that? You are a highly programmed slave. Most of you are beginning to understand that you are a slave. And it is beginning to piss you off. It's beginning to make you angry and you should get angry. So since the only thing you are worth is labor and food, the slave has no other value. Y'all become porn addicts. You become pleasure seekers. So you seek pleasure in your physical body. That's why you don't mind breeding, breeding, breeding. You find pleasure in drugs. You find pleasure in alcohol. And all these things, you know that you are a slave. So the pleasure in your physical flesh, the pleasure in drugs, the pleasure in, in alcohol, the pleasure in watching reality stories that don't do you no good, that don't feed your mind. It helps you leave the reality of your slavery. Oh, wow, 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 wow. I suggest that you pick up this book. I suggest that we begin to feed our minds with other information other than this fantasy nonsense that we're always reading. That we're always embracing. Oh man. So now you know. Why the human being. Has sex anytime they feel like it. Because you are a slave. And you're nothing but a breeding machine. For those who are in high places. That use you for labor. It has not gotten so bad that they want to use you for, for food. They have plenty of cows and chickens and pigs. <laughs> they don't need you for food yet. And I tell y'all something. Y'all might not believe this. Don't think there are not people out there that don't eat human beings for the fun of it. Just to try something different. Oh, because I... Do you think that people... Are just missing for no reason. You think that they, you think people just vanish into thin air? 
they are vanishing into somebody's stomach because you are nothing. You are no more than that cow, than that chicken. Some of y'all, oh, I know I have value. I have a pretty house, pretty cars. Then one day we'll see you on TV and you missing. You mean nothing. You're nothing but a highly glorified, glorified slave. That's all that we are. Have babies anytime. You have no control over your reproduction. You have no control over your sexual feeling. Yeah, you are obsessed with this sexual crap. Here you are, African. Spirituality. And you are obsessed with your flesh. You have no idea of what real spirituality is. No idea. You talk filthy and you're nasty just like pigs are forced to lie in mud and filth in a corral and that's where your mind is. You're like a filthy pig in the mind, swine in the brain. That's why some of you can't control your nastiness. You got filthy mouth. Every other word that come out of your mouth, MF this, kiss my butt, suck my this. You nasty in the mouth. You filthy. Because you are nothing but a slave. You put in a pen like a cow or a chicken. You put in a cage. And you drown it in on your own filth. You have become domesticated. And you are have become an unnatural creature. Regardless to your race. Filthy, nasty people. Can't get along with nobody. The only thing you good for is labor and food. Somebody taking your raggedy self to the slaughterhouse. And that's why those who are in upper places are planning to slaughter you by the millions. They're getting ready. And you see signs that people talk about it on YouTube and other places all the time. They talk about the world has too many people on it. It's too many slaves. They don't mind people, but you're not a people. You are a domesticated slave. Believe it like Elijah Muhammad said, or let it alone. That's your problem. But this is why the human being has become unnatural and practices unnatural sexual behaviors. And I doubt if you can refute what has just been presented. If so, jot down your comments and we'll talk about it. Thank you for listening. This is your brother Talik Even Raw. This was and is <laughs> the reality's temple on earth. Check the book out, y'all.